This is one of those stories that never started. This is one of those stories that never started. With, with all of that in mind, you know, and I know that it, it must have, it, 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 it wasn't easy, but how did you bounce back from all of that? Ah, yeah, it was not easy. Uh, it's because of the love of sports. Yeah. That I had yeah. uh, one day to say, I sat down and say, what is it that I need to do yeah. for, for my community? Because uh, my community was robbed. Yeah. The World Cup, it was robbed experience, it was robbed, you know, so many things. Uh, since I, I, I played the game, you know, uh, of football, uh, having interacted with so many legends. Hey, I forgot the other one. Tipo Mudise. Yeah? Yeah, we played together at the Real Stars Development in Soviet. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, you, 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 you were part yes, of that? Yes, I was part of that. Uh, he knows me very well. Mm -hmm. There was also this player, uh, uh, Weaver. Mm -hmm. What you see in Messi, you've seen it long ago. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, no. Messi is nothing to the ball. What? I'm telling you. He used to do things with the ball. Weaver, very short, very skinny. You know, he used to do things with the ball. Every time when we were playing, yeah, we wanted him by my side and say, "We will pass you the ball." Don't know. <laughs> sure. I'll pass you the ball. Sure. You know, uh, it was also a very good experience. Uh, we were coached by the late uh, Steve Woody, Steve Mel. Uh, he used to play for Pirates also. You know, so you see, uh, from that. Yeah, that era of, uh, era of uh, I met with uh, so many greats. Uh, I, I sat down and registered the company, mm -hmm. construction company. I sat down with my friend, uh, my team. I said, hey, man, uh, let's register the company. He said, hey, bro, where are we going to work? I said, the same thing is funny. They must give us uh, the job. <laughs> yeah. Because I always had Gilash Sports Group in mind. You know, that, that's when Kina Sports Group uh, was uh, conceptualized, even before the 2010. You know, from, from 2000, immediately from, from 2008, 7-8, mm -hmm. you know, uh, saying, I want a sports company that will represent, uh, you know, player management, mm -hmm. endorsement, you know, nutrition, but it should be rusty the face. I want to see, you know, talent out of this town. Because we have immense talent. That's when GSG was being uh, conceptualized. Then that's when they robbed also, you know, the, that dream. Uh, I used to do the construction space, you know, supply, and the mines, municipality, you know, being a hustler, man, uh, being a businessman. Uh, the concept of GSG was was there, was there. Mm -hmm. I registered the company in 2013. Yeah, you know, having the sports company, construction consumed me, you know. Uh, but still being involved in sports. Yes. Uh, when when uh, Platinum Stars also mm -hmm. was here, you know, uh, I produced uh, one of the keepers, uh, Cyril, I think you know. Yeah. Played yeah, you played with Cyril. Yeah, yeah uh, I was instrumental in making Cyril what he is today. Mm. If it wasn't me, I don't know. And it's a story that he is not telling me. Mm. It's another sad story. I remember that when Platinum Stars was uh, establishing a, an academy, my friend uh, Ellen Free, the coach. Yeah. Uh, Ellen Fries, uh, he was still the head of uh, development. And uh, I took him and uh, this other boy, Skita. I think you know Skita. Skita, Skita. Yeah, Skita. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. You know, Skita, one of the most talented players, which uh, till today, hey, I'm, I'm still asking myself what happened to so like for. Yeah. Uh, left footed player, I remember I'm also left team. Mm -hmm. So when coming to left footed players, I'm, 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 I'm very. You know, jealous yeah. of them. Yeah. Say, Look, yeah. uh, I want to see them, you know, grow. Yeah. Uh, I made sure I remember there was uh, uh, this the Bafikin thing, and you say they only want the Bafikin players. I said to Ale, my brother, if, if, if you are my friend, you're going to sign those players. Mm. 
Eli Mencho, uh, they went in there. Cyril, uh, I managed him, you know. Uh, guiding him, say, hey, I want you to be one of the best teachers out of us. Uh, you should at least try, I should try it on the Remember when uh, Stuart Dexter came into the country when he goes crazy chiefs? I took Cyril to the trials. I took him to the prison. They had a prison in Bocha University. I took him there. It was very cold. You know, I met him from Then I left the boy there. He trained uh, with them for two weeks. You know, uh, I made that move for him. Then after two weeks, they called me to say, look, yeah, the boy is good. He's still inexperienced. He must grow. I think he was 17 by then. Then I said, no, it's OK. Uh, We'll keep him at you know the platinum stars uh, at the open so that he gets a uh, cool team. Uh, maybe we can release it. Was that after he played the, the net bank? Uh, before. before. It was before. Was it really? Yes, yeah, it was I'm before. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it, it was, was before. And uh, I went to Cyril's family. I spoke to the mother. I sat down with the mother to say, look, I want to manage uh, this ball. I played with this uh, elder brother, Paul. Mm -hmm. You know, at the uh, Mandel's team, how are you going to May his soul rest in peace, you know. Uh, I, ca I can't talk about sport without mentioning Mandel Twala. See us there. Yes. Yeah, you are not mean to us. He was yeah, my, he was my dad, man. my friend, my mentor, you know. Uh, he was everything to me, that man. He was everything to me. Uh, when you were around my brother when we um, there was a point when the family was a team and then uh, there was a team that was selected and it had to go to play Goma or Goma Town to go back to the stadium. Yeah. Cyril was part of that, he was also part of that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the, uh, I mean, was the one coaching, coaching the, team. the team. Yeah, yeah I used to play for the department most of the time. Even yeah. in general when I was not working there. You know Manda? Yeah. Yeah, hey, Manda was a bad dude. We say Kinasa and the man. Those was the Kanjan who talk seven department. Who salute the army below? Who do you have to seven than that? You know, uh, I played those games, my brother. I was, I was, you know, instrumental. But Cyril, I never played with him. He was still there. Yeah, I think maybe it was after, you know, I, 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 I focused more into the business. Uh, uh, I spoke to his family. He looked, the mother agreed, and uh, Cyril was selected for the net day. Yeah, uh, squad. They were at uh, in Pretoria, at the HPC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went there, I, I had a meeting in Dover, then I had to drive by in you know, uh, Pretoria. I spoke to the boy to say, Cyril, uh, you must understand, you must put your AK in. Uh, you, you, you are a GSG player. Mm -hmm. Show, show, Prakilash, you know, this and that. Okay, fine, Cyril. Mm -hmm. uh, I trust you. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll sign, you know, the contract. Mm -hmm. I spoke to the mother. You, you understand that type of uh, 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 business, yeah. you know, setup? Yeah. Yeah. To say, this is my boy. I, 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 I made him. I'm, I'm still, you know, making Cyril. Yeah. I know the family. I know the brother. We take together. And the brother was also happy for you know, to yeah. say, hey, my brother. I love what you're doing with my uh, younger brother. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, I even spoke to some of the players there to say, hey man, you must tell them I'm representing you. No, 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 I don't know how to break it up. Come Sunday, hey, I get a call from Paul, the brother. Hey, Kilash, where are you? I said, man, I'm home, man. Are you coming to the stadium? I said, no, I don't think I'll make it. He said, hey, bro, uh, I see things happening here. Cyril is talking to this other agent mm -hmm. with my mother there. And it was like, hey, 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 what's happening now? He said, hey, Muna, Gilroy made you. Well. Gilroy is the one who made you to be here. Mm. Those people, they don't know you. Mm. That's how Cyril went out of my hand. And you just let it go. Ah, I let it go to say, he will grow, he's a boy. Uh, I need to focus and, uh, you know, start to do business, you know, the right way. Uh, not uh, only gentlemen's agreement, you know, or the ball agreement. We need to start to sign contracts and uh, so forth. Then, uh, after then, uh, I was highly involved also in the Platinum Stars uh, success. You know, that's, that's one thing uh, that me and Ellen, we had that 
you know, relationship where he would even say to me, if you already must uh, analyze the game for me, you know, during the league while maybe they are playing away games. And we, we, I was very instrumental, you know, in LA's uh, success, mm -hmm. even uh, during the MTN, uh, you know, they, uh, the Telcom and they won those trophies. Mm -hmm. uh, and also my friend Senzo uh, Mbata, mm -hmm. who was a manager, Mm -hmm. uh, we schooled together at the bar, we played together at Bank Tech. Uh, you know, I was, I was highly involved at that time, so he knows that uh, every time you would say, hey, I'm coming for big games when Chiefs is playing this and that, you know, he'll come and say, hey, we can come and sit together. I remember when Chiefs uh, was, was beating everybody. They called Chief the train. You remember, yeah, when, yeah, that season, remember that. Yeah. when when Stuart Dexter was on the fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it came. It was on a Wednesday night. Uh, Royal African Stadium. We drove that Monday before the uh, game. We drove together to Elliot. Me and Elliot. He was like, "Hey, Roy, I know you are the Chiefs supporter. Hey, I'm playing your team, bro." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are we going to do? I say, hey man, you're my brother and I'm supporting you. He say, okay, let's talk about the game. Let's talk how Chiefs play. Yeah. How can we stop Chiefs? Yeah. I give him tips, you know. I analyze the players. He say, look, this is how Tepo Masilian is playing. You know, Boniso Kanka, Shaba, Yeye. We stopped the train. The train. What? In Rustenburg. Royal Buffett Stadium. <laughs> the World Cup stadium that was, you know, built, uh, the 2010 FIFA World Cup stadium, the first ever, you know, we made history, I remember when I was also doing interviews, to say the first ever stadium in the region that was host the World Cup, till today, we never had that in the World Cup history. We stopped them. I remember we were sitting with, uh, you know, the manager of Kofi Bontawi. Senzo, he was like, hey, Senzo, but hey, Nebra, hey, how's up, man, how's up? Hey, Nebra, look at, man, hey, look at the stadium, it's full, man, eh? Hey? I bring money to you, you beat me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's Bobby for you, man. Yeah, right? yeah. hey, we all laughed, he said, yeah. hey, man, hey, guys, hey. Hey, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> he was angry, man. Yeah, it was, it was fully packed, man. It was a full house. It was a beautiful game, night game. Everybody was just like, they couldn't believe. And Platinum still stopped Casey Chiefs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a bitter pill to swallow. Uh, but uh, those were the days. I remember even uh, in the MTN when we beat Mamelodi Sundowns in Murulen Stadium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Coach Pizzo Musimani came to me after that game. He said, hey, Kiliman, tell me, hey, why are you telling me Ellen? I said, ah, Coach, why are you saying that to me? He said, no, because, you know, when uh, we analyze videos, they always, you know, show us where Ellen is sitting. And Ellen Fries is always listening to you. You are the one who's speaking. <laughs> I said, man, uh, Coach, uh, you taught me the game. You know? Yeah. Uh, and because of the love of the game, you know, uh, you know, your man that well as how they contributed in me uh, in terms of analyzing games. Also coaching. Uh, I remember, let me go back a bit, yeah. uh, at the bar. Okay. Hey, there was this story, man. <laughs> I forgot that story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We were playing Interhostel uh, League. Okay. There was this guy, Manda. He was from Whitbank. We used to call him the Rock. Yeah. And the other one, he was, it was a goalkeeper, Prince the Baba, mm -hmm. from Limpopo. So in the inter-hostel leagues, only two players from the first team of the school mm -hmm. uh, were supposed to play them. Okay. Oh, Amanda, Veron, hey. Now, who are this? The team. Umfag is a coach. Hey, Kilash, he was a coach. Me tell Amanda, man, you can't do that. Yeah. And he was, uh, you know, older than me. I said, Amanda, man, why don't you... Let me to play, say, I'm fine, I'm not, 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 I'm not,
You know, I remember the team, Kasko, you, you know what Kasko? Uh, he's staying here in Zabadi, he used to run, he used to be an athlete and also yeah. play football. Yeah, we grew up together. Uh, and I, had a, I had a team of drunkards. <laughs> I said we never had a single training session. But you would congregate. I brought them together, I said, hey guys, this is how we're going to play. Uh, yeah, they were calling you, no, okay coach, okay, okay coach. You know, the Jose Mourinho story came out from there. Sure. Yeah, that's when uh, Jose was like, you know, coming up. Yeah. The ranks, and uh, we played the three-five-two formation. Okay. And remember, the midfielder. Yeah. Uh, my philosophy is let's let's pack the midfield. Yeah. yeah let's pack the midfield. We played. We never lost any game. What? Yeah. No. We never lost any game, my brother. It was history. Yeah. We never lost the 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 the, 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 the uh, group stage. We scored. We didn't score less than three goals. Yeah. We were beating people left, right, and center. I remember the semi-finals. We were playing with the big guys, so well. the local guys, mm -hmm. Sharpeville guys. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It was one of those games that uh, hey, it was it was a derby. It was a, yeah. Because remember those guys, I was playing with them uh, the first team. Mm -hmm. And they were like, hey, Kida Shangye Gashka, hey, it's a very sharp man. Mm. Ah, I was quiet, my brother. And you know, we had fans. Yeah, no, the stadium was packed. Eh? The stadium was packed. Like, know. there were people who were yeah. Hey, the stadium was packed. remember when you were playing the final, the coach was wearing a suit. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> a suit with a tie, imagine. Oh, wow. No, no like, a okay. professional. No, no, remember, no. and with a team that did not even go to court for, for the train. Yeah. Because of the heart and the passion the drive they had for football, you know? They were playing like nobody's business because he was in the bench, motivated. Yes, he would take the uh, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, uh, take it, you take know. Yeah. yeah, you know, he. And funny enough, I remember that day when they were playing final. He told me, he said, No, we we're playing final. I said, Oh, okay. The freedom. And I remember everyone was like, at the stadium, they yeah. wanted to see this team. What is this team coming? Yeah, I mean, everyone was asking, Who's the coach? You know, he was imaged with the suit. He was like, Hey, my dad, the suit. <laughs> Remember, they were the uh, technical names that time. You it's know, nothing professional. Yeah, with the suit. I'm not very touchy, you know, like. I was like, You know, that's one thing that I want to tell you because if sports football was in part of his game, I mean, he could do one. What about playing the coach and doing that in the court and in the play, you know? Yeah. And just the motivation, uh, the passion, the drive that he instilled into his players. I mean, they were not good guys to do with it. I mean, they, yeah. they loved the sport. Yeah. But yeah. they were doing the right things in America. Yeah. This is the philosophy that he instilled in that. Mm -hmm. It was something that came up, you know, they didn't want the trophy. Let him let him really? let him play the score. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, we won the tournament. We won the tournament, you know. We we voted the best team of the tournament. What? The no. best coach of the tournament. We took everything. You know, uh, they were like, hey this team, man, hey this team. And I said, Look, uh, I love football, I understand the game. You know, uh, I remember I was telling uh, you the semi-final story. Yeah. Hey, they were the big guns. They intimidating us. Hey, our players were like, hey, but hey, coach, you know, how are we going to play as a Just relax. Yeah. Let's get a goal. Yeah. That's it. We'll settle the score. It was packed, fully packed. I remember the coach who used to coach me, Batiza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he came to me. He said, hey, Kiraj Infanak, show them, boy. Sure, sure, I want to party, man. He was also from the bar. Yeah, yeah. I want to party, it's a bar. It's a uru 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 Ah, I told him to say, hey, go back. He said, but I said, go back. Go back, boy. We, I'm saying, this is my game. I want to win this game. Because we can't go to the finals if we don't win the same finals. Yeah. It was a very tense game. Before half time, we get a goal. Mm -hmm. Next! Ah! Hey! 
people started to sing. <laughs> and we had, uh, you know, the supporters of the ladies. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the ladies were always behind us. Yeah, it was good. You know, I don't know, maybe because of the coach. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they always said, hey, coach, hey, you, with the following of the ladies. And they, yeah. but they leave me alone. <laughs> 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 you know, it was like, hey, but leave me alone. But they say, hey. Hey, hey, my friend, you may be a fool. They only support this year. Yes. You know, it was uh, those uh, fun days, you know, happy days. We went to the finals. I came up with the suit. We took the trophy. Oh, it was one of uh, the highlights, also, you know, of uh, my life, mm -hmm. career uh, in football, and uh, everybody was just happy for me. I remember even Nebra Conti Kubeka, one of the legends, you know, who played the game. He used to coach me, by the way, also. Uh, he also came and watched the game. He was, he was impressed. Yeah. Say, oh boy, you know, I can see all. So, what I'm coaching you, you, you understand what we're doing. And, yeah. uh, that's, that's history that uh, I'll always, you know, cherish. Uh, those players, you know, they, they, they thanked me. Others were trying to say, it's for the first time I get a gold medal. Imagine, you know, a tertiary. <laughs> it was one of those beautiful moments. You know, we had a Galadina prize giving function. You know, my team were dominating everything. Top goal scorer, uh, team of the tournament, coach of the tournament, best midfielder. We took everything that was there. We took everything. You know, uh, it was a very beautiful uh, experience. Go, uh, coming back, uh, the, the post-World Cup, mm. the GSG, you know, formation. Uh, then I sat down to say, hey, I need to give back to uh, my community. Yeah. You know, what I've uh, experienced, uh, gathered all along, you know, my youth days. Uh, I need to give back. Yeah. That's when, uh, 2018, we started the GSG Football Winter School Tournament okay. at Columbia Stadium. It was a success. It was big. It was beautiful. Everybody just came in there to say, hey, man, uh, we want to play in this tournament. I remember also the uh, Platinum Stars Academy, they came, we got, you know, their team there. Oh. Yeah, it was, it was one of those moments. You know, when I sat down, I had goosebumps. They say, Gilroy, this is it. You need to take this to another level. 2019, we pulled another one, beautiful one. But we never played in Tavani Stadium, uh, Olympia. Okay. We played in Tavani Stadium. Yeah. I, I took it to the castle. Yeah. Uh, there were a bit of politics uh, why I took it to the castle. Mm -hmm. you know, there was, uh, the Yarrow tournament was uh, starting in 2019, and the guys at the municipality came and said, hey, Matilda, can you please you know, move your tournament to rugby in Pala Crown? Mm. Hey, you are a football person, you know, the crowd might come to your tournament. I said, you know what, uh, let me take it to class, yeah. where I used to play, Kavani Stadium, which rich history. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, where, where people don't know this. Uh, Manda Twala also, yeah. uh, he was very instrumental. The former KZ Chiefs and the Leeds United defender, Lucas Kadena. He was put at the What? That's how he called to play for KZ Chiefs. He was put at the Wow. I remember Amanda always told me to say, hey, man. they came to watch a TNT team. It was one of the best tennis strikers. Amanda uh, said, you were told that I have to to live in the to We have to do. Maybe I saw his last two things to say, hey, watch. And then the rest is history. I remember when I was doing uh, this other interview with the uh, SABC team, there was this program of uh, Yakasi during the World Cup, uh, mm -hmm. the Friday, the, 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 
the FIFA World Cup and the, uh, the Cricket FIFA World Cup. Mm -hmm. uh, we had this interview at the stadium, you know, I called uh, the, 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 the uh, management uh, the moments in Chile, the late moments in Chile. Yeah. We saw the CP, he was the chairman of the Boxhall League. Uh, he also, you know, attested to say, yeah, you got those 40 years. You know, your Bratlen, Nike, former players. Uh, those were the giants, the legends of the beautiful game in Kabani, uh, which uh, they also said, oh, look at what's perfect here. He's telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, that they couldn't believe. Mm -hmm. He said, that man is giving, uh, recognizing England, they say, yes, he was perfect here in Kabani Stadium. Wow. So that's one of the re history that people don't know. And we must pride ourselves in uh, history. Yes, sir. Uh, I took it there to say, no, let me take it to Kasi. Wow, we could have had him. Mm -hmm. Packed. People of Kasi were like, hey, hey man, at least it is simple for no cash. Uh, people were happy. We, we, we had teams as far as your Kubole Kalo, your, uh, what is village? Other village when you pass near that, you know, what's yeah. 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 yeah, we, we, we had teams as far as from there. And, we pulled a very beautiful tournament. Uh, 2020, due to COVID, mm -hmm. COVID uh, messed us up. 2021, hey, COVID again. Oh. I'm sure it was heavy. It was heavy, my brother. It was heavy. You know, plenty, plenty, plenty. I remember the 2021 one. Uh, one of my friends in Jordan called me. He said, I when I you want to you prior to presidency radio. It's why you remember that day, I think it was on the eleventh where he was going to announce to say we still continue with level I think it was level four or three. Yeah. Then hey, he took us back to fight. <laughs> he was like, hey, but why did you uh, it's in line with the the, the presidential uh, national address? Yeah. I say, hey man, you know we've got connections, man. Yeah. So we're doing things the right way. So, hey, unfortunately, it didn't happen again. We had to postpone. Uh, but during August, uh, you know, the rules were a bit, you know, yeah. reduced. Yeah. There. yeah, I was like, ah man, uh, let's 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 pull a tournament. But this one with a different gender. Oh wow. Women's football. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, and you pulled it off? I pulled it off, my brother. Women's football. We had teams, Yo. you know, uh, they came for the first time. Our inaugural uh, women's football tournament. Yeah, yeah. hey, but guys were like, ah, oh, man, chairman, uh, when is our tournament going to say, man, can we celebrate <coughs> once? Yeah. You know, for the first time in Bastille Day. There was a tournament? Yes, tournament women's uh, football tournament. Again, I pulled up uh, another great one. Uh, you know, with this t-shirt that I'm wearing. Yeah. Inaugural women's golf tournament. What? Wow. Yes. For the first time. What? For the first time, my brother. Wow. Uh, I remember I told my team to say, hey, let's do this. They were like, are you sure? <laughs> and then women who play golf in Brasenberg, I say, you know what? Up until you do something, you'll never know. I gave them this uh, philosophy of this marketing guy who was sending another city uh, where people were barefoot. Uh, that guy, when he came back, uh, he was telling his uh, company bosses, he said, ah, no, those people won't buy shoes, because there's no one who's wearing shoes. Okay, they took the second one. That guy was like, yeah, hey, 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 hey. we need to build factories, we need to go and manufacture shoes. Yeah. There. Within a month, everybody, like, they were buying shoes like hot cakes. <laughs> you understand? Like it, it just took off. Yeah, it's, it just took off. That's that's what GSG is doing to say let's 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 uh, try the women's uh, football tournament. Let's try the golf tournament. And plus sixty women mm, what? came on that day. Uh, professional people, mm. you know your CEOs, others even from Kaute, mm. they even came and played our uh, women's golf tournament. Mm. It was one of the most beautiful highlights. You know, he can tell you, my brother, he, he, you know, he was like, hey, my brother, hey, you push it, you push it. I was like, I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, I want to see sports in this beautiful town, being up there, and in, in the province as a whole. You know, that's, that's where uh, GSG 
wants to go in and uh, to say we need to hold hands together and we need to be united because sports like uh, you know the former president uh, said uh, as the politata you know it unites <coughs> it, it brings people together that's what sports does you know whether you are black or white or green or blue yeah but because of you know uh, sports mm -hmm. you can come together and what are the sporting sports as uh, GSG and so you're doing um, some stuff with the NBA yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the sporting coach we've started with is the football mm -hmm. academy that we've established and uh, it's uh, the tennis academy. Mm -hmm. Then the basketball is coming, netball, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and other sporting codes, your, your, your cricket, your rugby, you know. So that because uh, my vision is uh, not uh, everybody in the community can play football True. only. We have your Tiger Woods, you know, in, 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 in Rustenburg which we don't know of them. We have your Michael Jordans, uh, which we don't know of them. But once we open up that avenue, uh, people will start to show and say, look, you want to play mm -hmm. basketball or tennis, you know, the Roger Federer, so, or your Serena. You might be having here in Kaman. Mm -hmm. yeah, we don't know. We, you never know. Yeah, you'll never know. But I'm saying, let's, 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 uh, let's have a photo we said that. With uh, the help of my team, uh, you know, it's, 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 at times it's very difficult. You know. Sponsors, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we need uh, help, you know, from corporate companies, sponsors to say, let's 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 come together and, and, and try and make this a success. Mm -hmm. Which uh, it is going there. You know, there are a couple of people that we are talking to. I won't mention names. You know, it's going to be a surprise package. You know, yeah, this year, next year, we're coming up with. Uh, great things uh, to say initiatives uh, to, to, to improve sports uh, in Rustenbeck and Northwest as a whole to say, uh, like I'm saying, I'm working with uh, Jacob Chisel, the uh, uh, Chiefs legend, uh, Tracy McWeber, you know, a whole lot of people, and uh, there are so many people who want to be part of uh, this uh, movement, uh, the GSG movement. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to be my mentor, brother. Uh, no, Honestly. you're welcome, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where the future stars are, uh, I'm saying we are building the stars of tomorrow, mm -hmm. and uh, which uh, we want to see them up there. Mm -hmm. I always tell them at the football academy to say, a star, you don't see a star at the you know, reach of uh, your head. Yeah. It's up there, yeah. so you must, you must aim high, mm -hmm. uh, so that wherever you go, you must put them in the You know, the last sports group to say, we can see he's from. Uh, that academy, because I want this to have uh, a world class of like, you know, uh, academies mm -hmm. where we, we, we pride ourselves to say, look, uh, this is what we are doing. Mm -hmm. And it's not only sports uh, that I, we do, we also do workshops, you know, uh, your coaching training, and also education is uh, very uh, vital part in, in our, you uh, know, in, in our vision to say, I always tell them to say, man, I got to play a race at the Mubal, I have been laughing to me. Uh, to say, they must also go to school. You know, school is also very important. You know, sports and education, very important. So that uh, others look, they want to train professional uh, athletes, but at least they must have something to fall back on. You know, to say, look, uh, at least you can go to maybe uh, University of Northwest or college or anywhere uh, to go and. Uh, school there to say at least three years we are many to come to school yeah. you, you, you understand yeah. because those are the things that um, we know you know uh, sports is a very short career yeah. uh, and others like I said India it will be the kind of uh, I don't want to say any dog maybe yeah. I want to be an engineer I want yeah. to be a dog yeah. and also uh, trying to show them in terms of uh, sports yeah. To say you can make so many, there are so many careers in sport. Yeah. You know, your biotechnologies, you can be a sports physician, mm -hmm. you know, physiotherapist, your nutritionist, so many things. So that we, 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 we open their mindset. Mm -hmm. uh, not, uh, you know, they mustn't think about always going uh, to work at the mine. Yeah. Uh, because we, we need to do, you know, uh, work in, uh, create those other spaces, especially sports. Mm -hmm. Because sports, my brother, uh, look, it, it evolves. 
Yeah. It's something that is not going to die now. Mm -hmm. But the minds have got a lifespan. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow we might be like uh, Haute, mm -hmm. we might be like Kretzdorf, yeah. you know, yes. where and uh, like, yeah, about, just, yeah, just uh, go down. But yeah. I'm saying through sports, we can grow, you know, generation to generation. And speaking of sports and education, um, I'm a sport <coughs> management graduate. Oh, wow. Well. Um, I saw that, you know, for the longest of time, we've been actually giving uh, opportunities, you know, calling upon uh, people who, who, who are sport management graduates, sport science graduates, um, and, uh, and, and coaches as well. Not you sure. Know? Um, what kind of... Um, Backup and support are you giving those people in terms of like their development and their growth uh, within the GSG in terms of like how can they they, they take the next step in their career? Uh, the opportunity that we're giving them to say they can come and work, you know, mm -hmm. at the academies mm -hmm. to do their intents. Okay. Yes, that's that's where you can yes. you know fine tune yes. uh, their careers to yes. say look, uh, I work with the GSG academy. Yes. A football academy or GSG tennis academy. Mm -hmm. I've worked with them for three, maybe five months or six months or a year. Mm -hmm. You know where we can also, when uh, there are opportunities, you know, in the sports fraternity, yes. we can also, you know, link them yeah. uh, the to say, yeah, you, you know, well. the network that you feel to say, look, uh, hey, there's a job mm -hmm. opportunity there. Yeah. Go and do your best. Yeah. You understand? That's that's where also we 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 focusing on to say. We need to uh, be, be, be very, you know, uh, intensive, you know, we, yeah. we need to intensify yeah. uh, the, uh, that uh, space. Yes, sir. Yeah. And I saw you, you speaking to the mayor and some hey. provincial delegates. <laughs> and some big things coming. Hey, you want to be my mayor. <laughs> so I want to be right here. <laughs> I want to be right here. What is, what is the one thing that you, you, you want to do before your time? My brother. I want to turn Rustin back uh, into one of the sports, uh, sporting hub. Mm -hmm. We need to have professionals, yeah. uh, athletes, uh, even uh, professionals, you know, in terms of uh, careers, education-wise. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to make that impact. Uh, that's what I want to see with Rustin back. Mm -hmm. uh, like you say, I was with the mayors, and you know, every time when I meet up with them, to say, hey, leadership. Yes, we know there are politics and business and whatsoever. Can can let's let's try also, you know, as uh, the leadership, come and support us in sports yeah. because uh, there are so many careers that we can build. Yeah. Even employment, yeah. unemployment. You know, imagine if uh, we have academies running, we can create coaches, we can create administrators, we can create so many things within uh, that space. And through the government support, I think we can do. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, they also like the concept of how I impact the, you know, the GSG concept. Yeah. They like them. Uh, they, we, we, we really need to uh, see how can we help. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Help, uh, as well as the leadership. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. which uh, also the professional teams. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we we need to create. Uh, we need to have professional teams in Boston mm -hmm. uh, with the resources we have. The infrastructure. Uh, look at Limpopo. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of friends in Limpopo. Hey, it 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 pains me. We've got more than ten outfits, professional outfits. Yes, we can count them together. <laughs> How many teams has Limpopo? We've got Zikukuni, we've got uh, Marumo, and uh, others. Also, the NFD, 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 when they see there's something good happening, they come and support. You know, the business uh, world, the business sector, business community. The people. The people around to say, we need to rally behind uh, this you know, project. Mm -hmm. Because one day, we, we, we always say, a village raises a child. 
you check him at the Rajana Bajan, at Bafana Bafana. This is our representation, right? Huh? A rich province like this. Come on, come on. We need to dominate. Yeah. We, we, we have everything. Yeah. But you check national teams, it's zero. So as GSU we say, we want to change that mentality. Let's let's bring in athletes that will go in different national teams. You know, uh, I was also talking with uh, one of the coaches uh, of uh, the national teams to say, look, I want us to invite you guys so that when we have tournaments, come and see the talent that we have. Maybe you can invite one, two, three players. Let them come go through the ranks national, uh, maybe under 15, under 20, so that they become big stars of, you know, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's where I see JSG uh, going, and I want us to go there as as as, as Western and as Northwest as a whole. Yes. Let's let's support each other. Mm -hmm. We have talent here. We've seen uh, in the Bobsol era, Bobsol yeah, era, we had a whole lot of talent. PSL was made by Bobsol. Yeah, most of the players who were playing in the PSL, they were playing here. They played here, like your Tebo Kumuloi, you know. Your, your, so many guys, your Pazuga Sifuelis, uh, the Leita, you know, so, so many legends. Yeah. They, they, they were playing in, 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 in the Northwest. Mm -hmm. Why can't we do it when we have everything? Yeah. So I'm aging to everybody who's going to watch uh, this to say, look, Let's, let's come together. Let's, let's have those conversations, those engagements, like the engagements that we had uh, in, uh, Friday you know, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, the president of Netball, mm -hmm. uh, Cecilia Molekwane. Mm -hmm. She's from Northwest. Was not away. Oh, he was the president of Netball South Africa. President of uh, Africa. You know? And uh, globally, she sits in the board of Netball Global. She brought the World Cup here. You know, she relayed the story to us to say, she remembers when uh, she stood up and said, I want to bring World Cup to South Africa. And uh, she said, people were like, hey, you dream. Netball World Cup is here in South Africa for the first time in 60 years. In Africa, we are the first. It's a milestone. Wow. A woman from Northwest, Hebrew. So we can conquer the world. A it's a beautiful story, my brother. I, I was, I was so like, uh, uh, you know, I was so excited to be rubbing shoulders with people like those. You know, sitting next to you. I said, Hey, man, hey, you are a big guy. Then she was like, Ah, come on, you know. We try our best to say, whatever that you want to do, uh, you can achieve. Put your mind into it. Put everything, passion, discipline, dedication. Then we can change this world. And you actually just probably answered my question. <laughs> As you're about to wrap up the interview, um, this is a podcast that is meant to inspire people, you know, through stories of you know, sacrifice and success. And uh, people who are actually real life and in real time doing things and actually taking action, you know. Um, and I just want you to, 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 to look into the camera and just um, actually talk to the, the audience there, you know, because we're going to have you know, uh, 50 years from today, you know, yeah. uh, 50 years from today, watching this country, obviously by then you would have made a major impact, you know, yeah. you would have, you would have died into, you would have done your bit, you yeah. know, and I want people to refer to this content and actually see you, for if Rutman Gilroy was, was in this mind state and this is, this is what he has done for us, mm -hmm. so I want you to just um, look into the camera and just um, speak to the people even 30 years from today while watching this and actually sitting in a seat where they think to themselves that look I want to I wanna go ahead and, 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 and try and, and, and I want to do it and I want to go you know to, to levels beyond my environment allows me to go you know mm. I just want you to talk to the dreamers and the hustlers out there as to what can you say to them on how to take that first step and actually go for their dreams uh, look uh, first and foremost uh, Put God first. 
in everything that you do. Uh, he'll he'll elevate you. He'll open up doors for you. Uh, you must be dedicated. Uh, you must have passion, discipline, because in everything that you do, uh, whether sports or business, if if you don't have discipline, forget it. Yes, sir. Uh, you need to focus. Uh, you can be the best. You, you 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 know. You can be. Uh, you can achieve so much, even even globally, not in in, in Rustenburg or in Africa, uh, because that's what I always tell uh, my team to say. Gila Sports Group, I want to see this brand international. Mm. There's an international brand, and they like laughing at me and say, "Hey, chairman," I say, "You must dream. You must dream big so that whatever that you want to achieve, you can go to the next level." Uh, people like Lucas Kadebe, they must inspire you. People like your Dr. Kumalo, you know, they must inspire you. I was watching his documentary last week uh, when he was like saying he used to travel, uh, you know, uh, from, from, from far uh, to go and train. Uh, he, he used to be robbed. They once took his soccer boots and he said to them, hey, you guys are going to pay for me one day to come and watch me. And look how great he is. He's, 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 he's big, he's a legend. You know, your Lucas Hanebes, you know. Uh, they are big. And, and, and uh, the other uh, person who inspires me the most, uh, it's uh, Mr. Keza, uh, Dr. Keza Mutawu. You know, I always model myself around him. He did great. He's one of the greatest uh, entrepreneurs of this country. You know, uh, he has done one to get the village what he has achieved. Uh, it doesn't mean if you're not educated, you can't do anything. Yes, education is a tool that can help you, but also the natural intelligence uh, which God gives us, we must also utilize that. And you mustn't shy away to say, I'm from a Mukuku. I'm from a, 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 a Kasi that, you know, Harnameti or electricity. You can achieve more. It only depends on you. You are the only person who can stop yourself. Like me, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm from a poor background. But I never shied away to say, hey, Euro, you can't do this. And, and uh, I want to thank also Wandi, you know, for, 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 for the recognition that you give him me. Yeah. It, it, it's something that I never thought one day it would happen. Yeah. Uh, where people say, hey man, you're doing the right thing. And you are inspiring us. You, you, you're showing us how it's been done. And uh, I, I, I can also see that in terms of the academy, how we're touching, you know, uh, this young boy's life. Mm. I remember there's also this other guy that I want to thank. A special thing to 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 uh, um, Jeff uh, Radimir. Mm -hmm. We doing uh, you know the, the the he's he's also the man behind GSG brains, and uh, we are doing strategy. Uh, I remember last time when he saw me with uh, the great legend, your doctor, your Frank Matuas. He said, "Hey man, you are a legend." I say, "Wow, um, Jeff, don't say that." I said, "You're right. I'm telling you, you are a legend because once your name is mentioned." People have stories about your yeah. name. And I was like, wow, you say, I'm telling you, that's the impact that you're doing in this community. And also in South Africa. Yeah. Uh, you know, him, my, my friend, Happy, every time he'll say, hey, Marie, who doesn't know you? Well? <laughs> even, even my mom, my parents, be like, hey, this one is not all over. Yeah. Uh, I say, and uh, there's one thing also, make friends, you know, yeah. uh, more yeah. than enemies, yeah. you know. Because you never go wrong. I'm telling you, you can be stuck somewhere in the world or in, 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 in the country. You, you'll have somebody to say, hey, let me try and call this person. Or say, hey, man, I'm stuck where, where. You'll see people help you. You know, I've, I've made a uh, whole lot of friends uh, through sports. Uh, till today, I'm still keeping those relationships. To say, those are the networks that uh, they will help you, you know, in the near future. It might not be you directly. Maybe your child, your cousin sister or your grandchild you'll never know you open up doors for other people it might not be you but i'm saying uh do all your best 
in every little thing that you do, whether education, sports, music-wise, you can achieve everything that you want in life. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, my brother. Uh, Mr. Molloy. Yes. Could you kindly come uh, on, in my seat here? Uh, <laughs> I would like you just to uh, share a few words uh, about how this gentleman has changed your life. Uh, what is the vision for yourself as well? And just any uh, last words of wisdom to anybody who's watching this. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Wandila. Right, uh, thank you very much, Wandila. I think uh, I'm just going to be short, but. Uh, one of the things that I took as a highlight, especially from uh, my friend Gilroy, you know, um, I mean, sports is part of his DNA. I think I've said it earlier. And what he has done through sports and what he has achieved has been through a lot of uh, uh, dedication, commitment, and the discipline, you know. And uh, what I want to take from that, I want to say, my friend, you know what, uh, it's, been a, it's been a journey. We've taken a journey. And what do you want to do in Northwest? especially from the grassroots level, especially in the community of Ruston Lake, and having to bring sport and make sport, because sports also can unite people, you know, and which is something that we want to, uh, to instill in the community, not only the community, but also the whole of Northwest, you understand? And it's something that is so precious that he has taken upon himself to make it a success, and also to ensure that whatever they do to bring in Northwest must be something that's going to be memorable. You know, coming from now, it's, it's 2022 now. 20 years, 30 years from now on, when you look back, you say you heard about this gentleman called Kilroy from Gila Sports Group, you know. And with that, I would like to say, my friend, everything that you're doing, everyone is noticing, and everyone is, is rallying behind you with the love and the passion that you have, you know. And for me, as a friend, I always look up to him and say, you know what, you're doing wonders. You know, you give credit the way it's due, you know. Um, there's a lot of politics that are happening in sports. We yeah. know that we read about every in every province, you know. There will always be those moments. But one thing that cannot take away the love and the passion of the sports. Now we are still feeling that I would like to say my friend, pick up some in a good job. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. I have here to my left uh, Mr. Gilron Flo. I have here uh, to my right Mr. Happy Muloi. Uh, please reach out to these gentlemen on social media. I'll leave all of their details in the description below. And if you are trying to get hold of uh, Mr. Flo over here, I, I am more than certain that he will be open, you know, to helping and giving a, 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 a helping hand to anyone who reaches out. Because uh, from today, this guy is officially my mentor. Um, I studied sports and, you know, I would like to do something and give back in that. And I already have ideas and I believe that I, I've always wanted someone to share the ideas that I have done in sports, and I believe this is the moment that God made possible. So, gentlemen, thank you so much. Guys, I hope you guys can just click somewhere below where you are watching. There's a subscribe button. Please click that subscribe button. We are pushing for 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year. We are pushing this podcast to actually tell stories and, you know, bring forth to the world gentlemen like this. So, please follow the podcast. Please follow the movement. And I really appreciate that you tuned in until this far. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Thank you.